In early September, the European Tour staged the Russian Open, and a handful of South African players were in attendance. Moscow was within easy reach of the course, and the guys went to take a look. Bremner is clearly enjoying his European journey. My European tour stint has been good. Um, we've visited a lot of awesome places. We got to play in, in Denmark, who has probably the, the best par three I've ever played in. It's no more than 100 yards most days, and it's just full of the crowd the whole way around the green. It's just amazing. And then the Czech Republic last week is awesome. And then Russia this week. It's, it's just awesome to visit different places and to get to see all the different cultures. Steeped in rich history, Moscow is a fascinating place to visit. One of the joys of being an international golfer, the travel and new experiences. Visiting Russia is a, a different experience when you first come and then once you settle in it's, it's good. I mean the golf course is great, the, the town is awesome, I mean there's so much history here and it's just nice to, to be out here and have, have a new place every week. But of course these guys are trying to earn a living and also compete globally. I don't think it's getting to grips with having results. I think it's just if, you, if you're in a good frame and you're playing good golf, then the results will take care of themselves. It's just, I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves when we come out here to perform because we know ultimately this is a tour that we'd like to be playing on and maybe that kind of gets into your subconscious and you have that unnecessary pressure when you're playing, even if you're not thinking of it. I mean, the standard of golf in Europe is obviously a bit higher than it is at home because they have probably more players and there's more countries that have great quality players it's just the, I think the fields are much stronger in depth than what we have at home where we might have 40 guys that contend every week there's 156 guys that contend each week on this tour and as we've seen over the years South Africans compete well at all levels and a new breed of sunshine tour pros are making their way out into the fairways of the world tours what's the biggest difference from back home Length definitely helps, but uh, it's not everything in Europe. I think um, course management, you need to be really strong, and then obviously my short game is good, so chipping and putting is key around here because some of the courses are quite fiddly and they've got little dog legs and that, and you can't always just bomb driver at the green. And if you do, then you need to have the short game to back it up. Travelling the globe in search of a successful career does however involve making sacrifices and missing home comforts. This trip, probably my wife and in general, Brian and Burevoz. You actually find yourself a bit more out here because it's quite lonely if you don't have anyone with you and the only time you see people or South Africans is at the golf course and unless you're rooming with one. You kind of learn a lot about yourself and about your game and it's actually easier to practice here because you don't have as many distractions as you do at home so it's just golf course and hotels really and maybe go out for dinner a couple of times so yeah, you definitely find, find out more about yourself and about your game. It's great then to have a bunch of mates to travel with and experience the international golfing adventure.